Have you ever, when working with Niagara, wanted to iterate on an existing effect to possibly enhance it, or experiment with an effect, but you thought creating a duplicate Niagara system for that was clumsy? Well, and this is for you. Let us take a look at versioning in Niagara. A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos, or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from. Enough about how awesome you are, back to the video. Welcome back. So let's take a look. How we're gonna do this is we're gonna be creating a Niagara uh, emitter. So we'll go to FX, create a Niagara emitter. We'll call it, so we'll create a new emitter, make it of a template for directional bursts, something like that. Call it ME burst. So let us open up our burst emitter now. Now, to enable versioning, we need to go to Window and go to Versioning, which will open up a window which allows you to say Enable Versioning. And we just need to click this button to start enabling it. Uh, this works very similarly to how versioning works in modules in Niagara, which has existed since like 4.27 or something. Uh, so it's very similar, but essentially how it works like is like this. We have our versions down here, which will represent the different uh, iterations that we create uh, along the life. Uh, span of this um, emitter and starting off now we have this emitter here where we have a burst to the left that's going with white let's say we want to work on this a little bit so we add a version we can choose a minor version or a major version there's no inherent difference between these other than you may want to use a minor version for small changes and a major one for large changes but that's completely up to you so adding a new minor version we now have a new version that we can actually make changes to. So we can go to, for example, then disable our gravity. We want to have a burst that just goes to the left. And now we have that. And maybe we want to change the color. So we give it some bright red color or something like that. So now we have a bright red burst to the left. Um, let's say we later come back and we want to make some further changes. We can add another version. We add another minor version. Maybe this time we want to change the amount of particles that spawn from 75 to 150 to give something a little bit more power. Uh, maybe we wanted to change the color further. We were not happy with red. Let's try green. So we'll add some more to green and we get this greenish explosion now. So now we have a few different versions created here. And you have some metadata you can save for the different versions. Uh, first of all, you can uh, set exposed version for a version. Uh, which will be used then according to this description as the default version for new assets. Uh, you can either click it in uh, like so by uh, clicking on the flag, or you can just right click and expose version, it does the same thing. Uh, you can also denote the changes you've made as a descriptor. You can enable or disable if it's supposed to be shown in our Niagara system, I will show this in a little bit. We can uh, make sure if it's deprecated or not, if we don't make, want to make use of it later. Uh, we can get some advanced settings for a GUID, making sure that we can uh, make some source control changes if we get some conflicts. You also have some scripting here available for those people that want to make use of Python for this. So you have some settings here. Anyway, uh, moving on, we now have created three different versions. Let's see how we make use of it in a system. So we create a new system. FX, Niagara system, we can create from selected emitters, parent emitters, Niagara burst, NS final. Opening that up, you can see that we have our uh, emitter over here. Uh, however, it looks like our first emitter and we don't have an icon right here now for version control or versioning. And the reason for that is we never saved this emitter. So let's go back and save this. Now that it's saved, we can go back to our system and we'll see that these arrows are here showing that we can change between different versions. So currently we're showing the 1.01. We can change here to 1.1, which would be the red burst, or we can change to 1.2, which would be the green burst with a lot more particulates. So that's how you change the different versions in your system uh, for the different emitters that you have different versions for. Now, uh, you may want to go back and change further or also we can go in here and go in and say we don't want to show the the 1.1 version like i said earlier so we can remove that save go back to our system we can see we can only see the version 1 and 1.2 now um let's say we wanted to see what our different 
iterations were earlier. Well, we can't click around on them to see what they were. Uh, to see your different versions that you have as versions, uh, you go up here to the right, you can see here, we have a versioning and it says 1.2 currently. So that's the one that's being displayed. Pressing these uh, dots allow you to see a different version if you want to. So 1.1 would see the red one and 1.0 would see the original, for example. So that's how you can move around your different versions, add new versions, add some data to them, enable and disable them and make use of them in a system. I hope that this will be very useful to you. Me personally, I think this is pretty cool. And yeah, that's going to be all for now. So keep on learning. Take care. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.